Well, as you can see, we had a lot of fun in that elk hunt, thanks to all involved in that. What we're going to do next is head south, down to the mouth of the Detroit River for a father and son team as they try to find some smallmouth. Late summer and early fall have some great fishing opportunities all over the state. One area that seems to always produce is the Detroit River, especially at the mouth of Lake St. Clair. This area has it all, and today we were hoping it would produce for a father and son team who are in search of some big smallmouth. Rob Murray and his son Trevor were here today from a trip that I donated to my local church in Williamston. Rob jumped at the chance, and when he said he wanted to take his son bass fishing, well, I called a good buddy, Jerry Gostinick. Well, we're going to start out fishing in the river uh, this morning. we got a little bit of a north breeze here, and it uh, should settle down a little bit later this morning. So we're actually going to start fishing, fishing in the river here over some deep humps and stuff like that. We'll see what happens, and then we're going to go out and take it out to the main lake. Trevor here was one of the first to get his line in the water, and I tell you what, he held his own today against the adults. In fact, first cast had the first fish. How about that? First cast? Got a good one there, Trevor? I think so. Nice two and a quarter pounder, real fat, healthy river fish. First cast, how'd you do that? Luck. <laughs> nice job. We, uh, we fished the uh, Detroit River here, the channel on uh, basically the American side of uh, Belle Isle. Um, we fished uh, 20 to 30 foot today and we pretty much caught them at all depths. You know, we don't, you know, long boat rides are not required and uh, you can pretty much fish in here in all conditions. I mean, what, what you saw today, this is excellent fishing for kids because we had a lot of action today. You know, we didn't have to go on a big, long, rough boat ride where we may not, you know, get as many bites out of the main lake. And uh, real consistent area here. I don't think you catch a lot of the, you know, the giant, giant bass here, but it's great action for kids. I mean, kids need to catch fish quickly when you take them out, you know. A lot of times you don't want to take them out if they're not going to, you know, only get a bite or two for, for the entire day. It can really turn them off to it. So I think it's real important to uh, take them to areas that are going to be productive quickly. Making sure kids have a good experience in the outdoors is important, and it sounds like Rob does his part to make that happen. Oh yeah, we, uh, we spend a ton of time in the outdoors. Uh, my sons both play hockey, my oldest boy's into wrestling, and we hunt and fish together. I try to bring in all their friends from the city that don't get a chance to be in the outdoors. Um, we took three buddies from our hockey team last year that got uh, their first three deer uh, at 12 years old, so it was a riot, and I enjoy the heck out of it. Do it with all my friends. I love to see the kids' faces. I mean, it's a new experience for them. They love it. I mean, uh, they're not used to that different lifestyle. Um, we have a friend that my son no longer plays hockey with that now fishes like uh, crazy by himself locally in Royal Oak. So it's kind of exciting to see how he's evolved into the outdoors uh, after hanging out with us. It is great to see a family that promotes the outdoor lifestyle. The more we do it, the more the kids catch on as well. Well, I like spending time outdoors and fishing. I just like being out on the water and being able to catch fish and be constant with catching fish and catching fish. I live right next to the Huron River, so I go in there often and I go to my friend's house in t on Tipsco Lake and we always fish there. Um, I like doing bass fishing and pan fish. Trevor seems to know just how important it is that he promotes the outdoors to his friends as well. Well, you know, I kind of tell him like my stories on what I catch and how many I catch and like they start to like it and they go out with me and they st like it also. Sometimes in this current, you know, what you have is you, we've got 25, 30, 40 feet of line out and your line will actually have a, a bow in it. So it's real important to get a good hook set on these fish and get the line tight. If you just gently pull on them and reel, you're gonna lose every one of them. And you know, we're fishing 20, 24 feet right here. So I do have fluorocarbon line that eliminates, you know, some of the stretch, but got another one up in the back there. We had a nice steady day of fishing, and really this kind of fishing is good for quite a while. It's a perfect place to take kids out where they can have success. 
You know, today's youth, more than ever, they've got, you know, with the internet and video games, you see less and less people participating in, in our outdoors. And uh, I think more now more than ever, that's very important because they're, they're the future of, of the outdoors. You know, if there's nobody involved, you're not going to have, uh, you know, we may see a lot of this stuff disappear down the road. What do you think, big fella? It's looking pretty big. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. There is always the chance that our outdoor passions will disappear. That's why you and me have to do what we can to help promote and preserve the things we love so much. So take a kid out hunting this fall. If they don't carry a gun, that's fine. Let them experience what the outdoors has to offer. Whether it's a squirrel hunt, a deer blind, or a duck marsh, we have to promote all that this state has to offer. Nice one. Job. Nice. If we all do a little, it goes a long way to protect the outdoor lifestyle we all hold so dear. Thanks to all out there doing their part to get the next generation involved. Pretty proud of myself for that one. <laughs>